everyone I'm back with another video and in today's video we have an Acer Aspire 3 the model exact model for this one is an Acer Aspire 3 A315-41 series with a subdivision model R7WT and in this video I'm gonna go over how you can open it up and how you can replace the battery for this one this applies for any Aspire 3 A315 models it's really easy, you can do this at home, so you don't have to take it to any repair shop or anything like that. I'll leave the link for the tools that I use uh, for the spare battery where you can purchase if, if, I find, if I find the link. All right, I'm gonna go over the tools that I'll be using. Tool number one is a screwdriver set. The iFixit uh, screwdriver set. If you get the Pro set, they will include you with an opening tools and tweezers. If not, grab yourself a guitar pick. A metal guitar picks are really suitable to opening the covers. From this tool set, we're gonna be using a Phillips number zero. And what we're gonna do down here, we're gonna power off the laptop and we're gonna remove all the screws down here. Everything that you can see in the middle on the bottom cover, we're gonna remove all of them. All the screws are the same size and height, so don't worry about mismatching them. Go ahead and remove them and keep them in one pile. Also, if you guys find my videos useful and helping you guys out, you can support the channel by clicking the like and subscribe. I'll greatly appreciate it. It helps and motivates me to make more videos, take requests, and answer your questions in the comment area. I'm just going to fast forward this part and remove all the screws. And hopefully they have lots of screws on this model, so I have a whole pile of them right there. Now, what we're gonna do, we're not gonna touch this cover. We're gonna remove the screw, but we're not gonna remove the cover. But on this one, this big cover, we're gonna remove it just by sticking the screwdriver right in here. And lift it really hard upward. You're not gonna break it, just lift it up really hard. There's a hard drive here, we need to remove it. Four screws for the caddy. So remove these tiny four screws. These are tiny screws. All right, once you remove the tiny screws, all you need to do is to grab it from the back end of the hard drive and lift it up about 10 degree, not too much. And you want to move it slowly to the side, gently, and grab this adapter right in here. You don't want to stress this flex cable and pull the adapter backward, just like that. So I don't want to damage the flex cable. That's your mechanical hard drive. When we have, once we have this one done, we're going to open up the laptop about 45 degree, we're gonna stick the opening tool between the bottom cover and the palm rest. We just wanna twist it like this, we wanna hear this big click sound. That's what you wanna hear, you wanna work yourself all around on the front and on the side. You don't need to do the back end. Once you do the side and the front, lift it up, wiggle it around, and it will release the cover. Put this one to this side. And right away you can see the, the battery right in here. The battery is being held down by two screws, one on here, one on here. So before we do anything, we're gonna remove the gaffer tape right over the cable, right in here. So remove this gaffer tape, put it on the side. You don't even need it actually. The battery is not gonna run away. So grab this jack by two fingers, fingernails, put it on the side of the jack, and then you wanna pull it backward, straight back like that. And then you wanna remove this screw right on this side, and the screw on the left side. Once you do that, just grab it from the front and pull it for up backward. There's a little latches right here that goes under the cover. And this is the CMOS battery for the motherboard. All right, this one here, the model is an AP16M4J. I'll try to get the link for this one. This is a 7.6 volt and 4,870 milliamp power, 37 watt hour battery. Okay? And I'll try to get a link for this one. I'll leave in the video comment, the video description, so you guys can purchase yours. Let's say you get a new one. All you need to do to bring, put the bottom side under the latches right there, secure. Press it down, make sure the screw holes are matching. And then you just wanna put these tiny screws right over. All right, once you put the screws in there, all you want to do, make sure, again, I repeat, make sure you bring this connector straight down evenly into the jack and 
squeeze it right in there and snug the cables right in place. And then grab the bottom cover, bring it over. Make sure it's sitting down, just push it down. You want to hear those big click sounds. Once you hear those big click sounds, that means it's in place. You want to grab the hard drive in 45 degree like that and gently push the connector in there, put the, this side down in 45 degree right there, and then sit down and push down the hard drive. Put the four screws for the carry. Also, there's a little tip about the battery. So uh, in order for your battery to last longer, I'm gonna give you a little tip. Before that, let's put this cover, put the side of the cover down here in 45 degree and then bring it down and squeeze the bottom, the sides, and that should be all. Now, all you need to do is put the bottom screws. Now, regarding the battery down there, before you power on the laptop, don't do it, leave it off. Plug in the charger for at least five to six hours. Once it's charged for five to six hours, the laptop in off mode, then what you wanna do, you wanna power it on without the charger connected and make sure you discharge the battery slowly. So put some YouTube videos, some movies or something light works. And once the battery is down to 25% or 30%, you wanna power off the laptop and then you wanna leave it for charging again another five to six hours. After five to six hours, then you can power it on and use it as you wish. And that's called the first cycle of the battery, charging and discharging. You need to do that for every battery that you install on your laptop. That's very, very important. That will help you for your battery to last longer. And you wanna do this process, this process of the charging, discharging, the way I just said it, once every two or three months, that's really healthy for the battery to have this charging and discharging every few months. I hope you guys liked this video and helped you guys out. If you have any questions or requests, feel free to leave them in a the video comment. I'll try to answer them as soon as I can. As always, thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in my next video. Just gonna finish up putting up the bottom screws.